Hello everyone, welcome to part Yeah, four of Let's play Inspector Gadget. And we're at that, yeah, stage five. Egypt. Now how did they find a way to get into Egypt to begin with? I mean, inside a pyramid, I mean. I mean, having almost all pyramids be... Like, you know, discovered already? Oh well, it's not too big of a deal. But I'm almost out of lies, that is a big deal. I have only one left. Hopefully I'll get a one-up... I know there's gotta be one here somewhere. Yeah. Anyway. I took a break from recording for a bit. About an hour or so. Because I kind of needed one after that pain in the ass that stage 4 was. Plus, dinner here was almost ready to eat anyway. I might not have had enough time to finish recording the next part before it was ready, and I'd rather not have the interruption at all. So, I decided to wait it out and just kick back for a little bit. Now, of course, for you, this is probably a wait of a, of a day or two between the parts, so it don't really matter. But, yeah. So, I am more laid back now. Still, no, I'm not really saying much still. No good for a let's play. But, yeah. For those of you who have actually watched Inspector Gadget, What's your favorite thing that you've seen in it? Because I can't really answer that question because I barely saw it all. Saw it at all. And again, that's mainly because it had long since been over by the time I ever saw it, or really by the time I was born. It had a few seasons in the mid 80s, and it was like around like 97, 98 when I first saw it. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure it was 97. So, I don't have much memories of this. Of the series. And I don't really remember the movie that much, so I can't say anything about that either. So, I'll leave it up to the audience to answer that question. What did you like about it? Now, I do know his voice well enough. Thanks partially to Chugga Khan Roy and his Pokemon Emblem Let's Play. And how the one character sounded like him, according to Chaga. And a single hat. That's what I lost this life and a half for. For a single hat. I should have gone up there, that's where the one up was. Oh well. I'm not gonna mess with it now. If I die, well, I can just start this area again. And I gotta go down this way anyway. Wrong hat. Actually, I will need a one up, because I usually run out of time here too. But, oh well. But oftentimes I can make it. 
Now I don't think it'll be this time. I hope that's not a dead end where I took the secret. Not the secret path, but where I found that one up. Though I'm pretty sure what it is. Oh. Well, this is gonna be a bit tough. Alright, if it's gonna keep going like this, I may as well just do the debug again. Maybe cheating, but it's better than save states, right? But we'll see how this turns out. Because now at the entrance of this stage, I've already lost a life. I think this is only three areas long, if I remember right. Yeah, it's the middle segment I usually spending the most time with. And these guys are annoying because they keep bouncing back and forth. It's so quite difficult to move forward with them in a way. No, you stay away from me. That was close. Fuck it, I'm debugging this shit. Why? Because I don't got the pages for this anymore. Now I have to how stage 4 went all kinds of wrong. Uh, it took long enough to get this. Where at? Yeah, we're at 5 1. Just to make it better for survival. Like so. No, do not make him undead. I'm not cheating that much. You gotta bring up the time way up there. Up, 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 up. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way to 999, I just don't got the patience for it, but this is good enough. That's just under 10 minutes. I should be able to finish before then, or die before then, whichever happens first, and here we go. Yeah, now we're doing better. I don't want to use my super copter here. But I can use my arrow, that's fine. I won't have to use my super bomb. Only to get another one right away. Nope, not taking a risk on that flame. Stop bouncing there. Good. And I beat him without having to do that anyway. You know what? I got lives, I got hats, I got power. I'm not gonna go for that. So that hurt me some. I think I can use my little man here. Yeah. That's good. Bench tracking all the way up there. I hope I get a jacket soon. I'm be funny another one of these guys. Oh yeah, it's still plenty of lots to hit. Just hope I can land on that spot again. 
Eh, nothing. Oh good, I, I fell fast enough. Alright, now where's this stuff? Right here. Yes! Okay. What the? Oh yeah, because I died. Here's the toughest part of this stage. Oh yeah. The super version of the red copter will automatically come in on enemies. And I need to make my way upwards. Now it's pretty dark in here, but there is a way to light it up. Show that just yet. First, take you out. Take you out. I did not want to do use that again. Uh, maybe I won't show it yet. Uh, maybe I have to now. Blocks here. Hold on a moment, if you want me that phone. And we're back. It was for my dad's. It wasn't for me, so you we were, we were interrupted for nothing. Anyway. Yeah, this place is pretty dark. And many dangers lead in this darkness. Most resulting from the fact that we can't see what's going on. Which makes this room... Not expecting to be hit by that. Yeah, but it makes this room more annoying than anything else. But here's where we want to go. I hope I get a jacket, or... I think uh, the next enemy should be easy to avoid. I think. Oh yeah, 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 these will. There. If I can actually get a hit with this. Oh, I had no protection there. Good thing I did that. Can we get on these four blocks here? No. Yeah, if I didn't hit that, then I'd be dropping way down. Now, there's an unusual danger in this room, and here it is. And I jumped too soon, but at least I got my health back. I do like the boss in this stage. I just hope I get it with not zero lives left. For player, as it's called here. Of course, I got these guys to deal with. I'll just buy some arrows and I'll have to get close. Yeah, you have to get as low as possible to avoid this thing. And you can't do it around too, because remember, we're on the timer. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh yes, great. And a 1-up. Feels good to have a range attack once again.
All he can do is the coat. Oh, he could get more coats somehow. This better not hit me. Good. Plenty of room to move around. I wasn't gonna make it there, but... I need it this way. Come down, come down, come down. Yeah, this section can get kind of intense. At least you're never quite sure when you're gonna be entirely safe. Right here, for instance. I always hit my doom. Fortunately, there was no code. Oh, here's the boss. I like the boss here. It's got a cool theme. Variation on the other ones. And look at that! That was Dr. Claw all along. He's not a person. He's just a fist. A powerful looking fist. Well, actually, he's more than that. But notice that this whole time, we've only seen him from his chair. only his chair. So what, do we just blow up his chair that transformed a sphinx into a robot? Huh. That's instruction. What, you run out of hiding places? Look. Oh good, then let's kick his ass. Trash can or whatever the hell that is, really. Penny being held in Dr. Claw's hideout. Rescue Penny from Dr. Claw and his mad agents. This message will self-destruct. Right, Chief, I'm on my way. That's the last time we could get to blow up the Chief's face. Hard to believe this came and went so quickly. Alright, I don't know how much you're going to have to cut from that part, so I'm just going to end it now, and I'll see you next time for the final mission of Inspector Gadget.